President Biden has been crystal clear that the climate crisis is one of the greatest threats that we face and must face together. And the time is now to act and act big. We've committed to reducing emissions by 50 to 52 percent by 2030. We're working to make every sector in our economy low carbon so that we can reach net zero by 2050. All across our country, leaders from every sector are working arm in arm to reduce pollution, increase climate resilience, protect public health, and deliver environmental justice. When we didn't have a leader in the national level, states stepped up. We launched the Michigan Healthy Climate Plan. It's a plan that moves all sectors of our economy to carbon neutrality by 2050. For a long time, there's been a misconception that preparing for the future comes at the expense of economic growth and good paying jobs, but it's really not a binary choice. It's a both and. We created 11,000 auto jobs working to diversify the economy and the future of mobility. The big three automakers, they've shown real leadership moving us toward a clean energy future. Each has set targets to shift to full EV manufacturing, and we have rolled out initiatives to facilitate that transition and make it easier for Michiganders to hit the road and continue to create jobs in the Motor City and across the state. There is a very strong willingness on the part of steelworker members really across the country to do something about climate change. For us, one of the biggest ways that we can ensure that domestic industry is here for the long term is by advancing policies that will help them to be more efficient and decarbonize so that they can actually exist 30, 40, 50 years from now. We're committed to being on the right side of history and we're committed to creating a path forward for our membership across all sectors. What I see across many businesses is that there's investment against this challenge. And there's excitement to invest against this challenge. I'm a big believer in public-private partnerships where we're working with other companies with expertise and then with government policy to make change or to drive improvement of business, in our instance, agriculture. Agriculture is part of the solution, and we can make that happen with speed. We can be a carbon sink, and if you get sequestration of a third to half a ton an acre, you can see what the opportunity is over time. We have to feed a growing world population, and we have to do it in a more sustainable way. And I see farmers investing to do that, and that's exciting. That says we're focused, and we're gonna to try to move as quickly as possible. This is happening right now. We are in the midst of a global crisis, and it makes sense to think globally, but we need to act locally. And so we as cities have an obligation to step up where uh, global governments have stepped back. We've set goals of reaching 100% clean and renewable electricity by 2023 in our city enterprise, and by 2030 in the city at large. We're no longer at the point when doing something that is environmentally sustainable is cost prohibitive. It's actually the right financial decision. Now we also need to make sure that we're having key investments in communities that have traditionally been left out so that in time, we don't see the environmental injustices that we do today. Across the country, every community has so much at stake and so much they can contribute. We are united in this effort to address the climate crisis and together with courage and creativity, we can build a brighter future and save this planet, a future that we are proud to hand to our children.